all right hey guys so i just wanted to make this video to kind of show you why i round down my my bottom numbers down here where this will be like 26 you know 98 and i'll round it down to 26 90 because there's you know there's a variable every time you run it so i ran these batteries and then because they're the last ones i had and then i just got a shipment in today of another six 600 batteries that but i still gotta tear them down charge them up before i test them so i was like well let me just run these through again make sure i'm sure what i'm i'm thinking about here so as you can see you know this one's 2687 2690 so that means it was 2690 whatever downed it so you see that one's close then this one 2733 2740 those are close but then i noticed when i got down to this one this one's marked 2560 but as you can see 2626 so you know what are they like 60 milliamps 60 yeah 60 milliamps difference so you know there it seems like every time sometimes it'll be close because I, I really don't believe in that whole waking like waking them up like maybe a little maybe a little bit like one time but you know here's this one this one's 50 50 points off and this one's close you know 20 points this one's uh 30 points off 20 points off 20 points off you know that's that one's probably exactly the same and yeah right there same this one's 30 points off this is right the same this one's the same and that one's the same so yeah it looks like there's only these two here but yeah i just want to show you guys those of you that may, might not have time to do it i did it there you go so that's why i round them down you know they're going to be they're going to be within seems like 20 milliamps each time you charge it so all right thanks all right hey guys welcome back so uh the other day uh, yesterday i was leaving to go somewhere and remember my little mini solar system with my thousand watt inverter well I burn it up so I'm capacity testing these now and as you can see the 7,000 and then these were really good I had two good ones 81 and 81 and then 78 yeah that's good 75 hey that's good that's good in my book how do I have five done I don't know anyways um, let me show you how I'm capacity testing because you know I got a bunch of alligator clips and I thought about doing you know, a little alligator clips. I have enough dead cells that I could probably, I probably got about 10 or maybe, yeah, probably more like 10 that I could use those. But I thought, you know, these are a little easier, I guess. Use the alligator clips on each end, tape them back up, charge them up, discharge this one. I tried to, I tried to do a, a discharge before I left for work this morning, but they were, they were all charging at, at um, they're all still charging this morning. So I didn't get a chance to run a couple of them while I was at work for the eight hours. So it looks like the max they would discharge at is 1.3. Because even if you set it to two amps, it only goes to 1.3. So I'll let these charge while I was at work. Oh, uh, while I was at work, that's not I don't seem right. I don't like that. So I'm going to charge this one back up. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm using these to discharge with. And uh, these are ready. See where these drop to 1.1.3 1 amps draw on them. But yeah, see this one's going to take a little more charge. I like to charge them up to the tippy top. Just you know to try to replicate what the beta collar does. But you know once you once you do a, a discharge test 
for a certain type of battery, it's best to use the same method or the same machine to do all your discharges. You know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit higher rating on this charger over here. So I marked those other batteries with a, a one and a two for this one so that I can see like if this ends up being like all lower discharges then maybe I'll rerun these through here and get them because my other um, flat cells are were discharged using only these two so we'll see how that goes but today I got in an order I got I got one of these 45 amp 7s Got another one of these. Now, I wanted the one with the disc. It has a uh, charge cable. That little yellow cable comes out of there. Like this one here. Like, I haven't had any problems out of this. This seems to be working good. And I've seen it, you know, go all the way up to 9.4, whatever it does. I've, I've, you know, been able to see it click on, click off. Click on, click off. But it seems like it's not, I wouldn't trust it to just sit there and click on click off click on click off click on click off so but anyway that's just with using these cheap if you want to call it a cheap charge controller yeah i don't i don't i think so yeah so my inverter burnt up i'm gonna have to open it up and see what the deal is because i was getting ready to leave and I was making sure everything was fine I came out and this thing was rolling smoke you know nothing crazy and it didn't smell like it didn't smell like electric like electrical like when you think of releasing this magic smoke it didn't smell like that it just smelled like something burnt like a wire smoldered but it stopped working so I'm opening it up hopefully it's just a wire maybe over something but I wasn't even running it hard the only thing I can think of is is that the battery was topped off and the way that I had it hooked up with no no fuses or nothing like that it was literally the um, these cables were hooked up to the battery and then the charge that that con charge controller that's what you want to call it the buck converter was connected at this connection between the battery and the inverter so I don't know. I don't know. And I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't charging anything. It was actually, I was using it to discharge. I was doing my first set of these discharges. And, um, yeah, it just went out. So, I'm scared to hook. I got another inverter. You know, I paid $61 for that on Amazon. Like, uh, one of those, like, used or Amazon warehouse deals. $61. 24 volt, 1,000 watt, reliable inverter man i jumped on it quick it's a good deal i paid 61 for that one and before that happened i bought this one quote unquote used this is a 12 volt one thousand watt and i got it for 71 dollars used quote unquote and so you know and you know it's not a huge loss but it is because i can't replace it for 60 dollars. it's 100 and sixty dollars to replace it so it's kind of a loss a little upset so hopefully i can fix it maybe it's something simple you know i've been getting into like how wiring and you know being able to so solder smds and stuff like that and anyways this can this uh this bms came with this cool sheet shows all the the ratings max current overcharge balance detect voltage that's cool and it came with this awesome wiring diagram i'm happy for that because i actually had to look it up because i went through two or three of the little cheap bms's before i figured out that this negative wire this like this wire and the next wire need to be on the same cell this the black wire don't need to be all the way across all the way across the, the pack which is what I thought, kind of thought. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I wasn't thinking. I was just putting it on there. But, yeah. All right, well, I'm fixing to go get them batteries out and start tearing them down and charging them up and capacity testing. So, all right, watch for the next one. Thanks, guys. Make sure you like this video, please. Bye. All right, then we're back. So here's my, here's one of the two packages. I think this one has 20 of those nine bot cells in them. 
What y'all doing, girls? Huh? Say hello. No. Yep. They're friendly. Here we go. Hoo hoo! Oh, you already halfway opened them for me. I don't know if that's good or not. Ooh. Ooh. Well, at least these are the actual LG ones. The last ones I got were like some blue ones. Oof. Oh, that sucks. That means I don't get the XT60 plugs. Last time I got the XT60 plugs with them. Or actually it was XT30. I didn't even know they had those. Sorry, here we go. Yeah, so there's 20 of them. Okay, that's not so bad. And so as you can, in one of my other videos, did you already take the screws out? No. No, there's like screws under these little, there you go, there's a little, looks like this little blank right there. There's a little screw under there. Let me show you. Show you real quick. So, so under this right here, dig down in there. Just stick your screwdriver down in there and it'll come right out. It's got a bunch of these little screws. Like that. Oh yeah, there's a couple of them all the way down. It comes right out. Yeah, cool. Alright, I guess that's cool. I don't know. I'd rather have them in the protective shell because these are going to be... Man, the box is like fucking beat the fuck up. What the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? Where'd that come from? I don't remember that on the other packs. Oh, it's up here. Yeah, I don't remember that coming with it. Alright. Alright. 